Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a makeup tutorial on this glowy natural makeup look. This is my go-to makeup look. I love to wear this whenever I don't feel like wearing any foundation. I just want something quick and easy to put on. It's very light coverage and honestly, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing any makeup at all. So this makeup look is perfect for when it starts getting really hot outside. All the products that I am using in this video will be listed in my description box below. So if you are interested interested in any of the products, you can just find it there. If you want to see how I did this makeup look, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm first going to start with primer. I'm using the Revolution Super Dewy Makeup Serum Primer. I really, really love this stuff. It makes you glow so nicely. So I'm just taking one pump of that and applying it to my skin. This gives you such a nice glow. I love to wear this without makeup too. And I will put this on my neck. Also put this on your collarbones too to glow even more. If you want to be extra. So after I put that on my face, I'm going to use a tinted serum. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This stuff is so good. I love it. If you are not crazy about foundations or you like really light coverage, you will love this and this makes you glow a lot. So I'm just going to start with a little bit. The shade is Rosy Light, but the formula is just so smooth. I love it. So I'm just putting it with my fingers. I mean, you could even, um, what do you call it? Blend it in with your fingers. I'm not going to. I'm gonna use my Real Technique sponge and just blend this in. But these two together, that primer and the makeup serum, it will give you the most glowy look ever. I really like the formula of this makeup serum. It's really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like you have makeup on, if that makes sense. And this is perfect if you just want a little something on your face and honestly, I would just wear this and be done, but that will be a very short video. So I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use the Born This Way by Too Faced, and I'm in the shade Snow. Oh, I really like this concealer, but a little goes a long way with this. So I'm just going to apply some right here and right here, just a little bit. I'm going to just a little bit on my nose because, like, why not? And just a little bit here, here. So I like to highlight these areas because I like the center of my face to be highlighted and the outer portions of my face to be very bronzed. So that's why I highlight, like, the random places. <laughs> okay, so now for my, I'm going to let this just sit for a second. And I'm going to use the Fenty Cream Bronzer. It's an O2 Butta Biscuit. I <laughs> love the name, that's so funny. Um, and I'm going to be using the Fenty Cream Blush in O2 Petal Poppin. So for my bronzer, I'm using this random bronzer brush that I have. It came in a subscription box I got a long time ago. I cannot find this, so I have to find something similar. But this is what the brush looks like. Kind of something like this. So I'm just taking some bronzer. I like to put it in the back of my hand and then apply it to my face. I feel like it helps so you don't apply like too much at once because this stuff can get so intense, especially the blush. But I really like this bronzer. It's very pretty. I'm also going to put just a little bit of concealer. Just a teeny bit. Right here. To kind of clean up and sharpen the bronzer. Now I'm going to blend out my concealer. I also put this on my eyelid. And I kind of just drag the concealer down on a diagonal so it like cuts the bronzer. So now I'm going to go in with the blush. This is such a good brush. It's by Fenty. 
It's the 125 Face Brush. I think this is actually the brush they recommend they use with the blush, and I really like it. So for the blush, what I do is I take some on my brush, and then I put it on the back of my hand, and then I apply it to my face because this stuff is so pigmented. So... Oh, I also, something I really like to do is I will take my cream bronzer, or you can use a, what do you call it, powdered bronzer, and I will take this on my eyelids as like eyeshadow, so I do that all the time. I always use my bronzer as eyeshadow, so, and then I'll kind of just go over just a little bit. I just noticed, I forgot to pull this out, oh my gosh. Oh my god, um, I forgot that too. Can you imagine if I went through this video and I forgot to blend that and everyone's just like watching that? Oh my gosh. Anyways, like I was saying, I love the Rare Beauty Radiant Setting Powder and it's in the shade Light. And it has a light pink tint to it, which I love. Um, I prefer light pink, especially for natural looks. So I'm just going to uh, blend out my under eye, just make sure everything is blended into the powder. So I just press my sponge into the powder. I kind of wipe it off the side. So I'm just using a little bit underneath my eyes. And what I love about this powder is it doesn't look matte because it's not like a mattifying powder. It doesn't look matte or dry on your skin. It has such a nice glow to it which I really love because I hate the way some powders look on the skin. It just looks so dry. This is my favorite powder. I like how it has some radiance to it. It doesn't dry out my skin. And I'm also going to apply this on everywhere else I highlighted. So my T-zone area. Um, I'm gonna take just a little bit on the bra on the brush the what's this called sponge <laughs> the sponge and just a little bit and I'm gonna lightly press over my blush and bronzer just because I don't like the feeling of nothing being set on my face so for oh my gosh for highlight I was debating on using powdered highlight or I also will do this. I'll take that primer. Um, I'll take just a little bit onto my finger. And this going over powder doesn't look weird or feel weird. I know like sometimes you're not supposed to like put like liquid, like cream products on top of powder, but this works. And I'm gonna put this where I would highlight. And it gives like a really nice natural glow. The reason why I like this is because it gives it that glass skin kind of look. If you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't look um, like shimmery and sparkly, which there's nothing wrong with that. But for these kind of looks, I prefer this kind of highlight to my skin. And also, you don't have to use another product. It's primer and highlight. There you go. I'm going to piss on my nose too. And I kind of just put this like where I want to glow. So like everywhere. <laughs> I'm also going to set my eyelids. Because I got to. I'm going to curl my lashes. I use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. So good. I love this. I just get a spoolie and brush my eyebrows. If you want to do something to your eyebrows, you can, um, what's it called? A clear brow gel. Sometimes I'll use a clear brow gel. I don't have one now, so I'm not going to use it, but that's what I would use. Or a tinted one. Either one. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth. If you've never tried a gloss balm, you need to try one. 
I love lip gloss, but I know there's some people that don't like lip gloss because they hate the tacky feeling of it. Because a lot of people that I know that hate lip gloss and they buy this, absolutely love it. It doesn't have that tacky feeling that other lip glosses have. It just feels very hydrating and it just has a really cute applicator and I really love this color. I love this color and what is it? Um, Fussy. I love that shade. That shade's very pretty too. I just got this one. This one's really pretty. But like I was saying when I was playing the highlight, I'll do this if I'm wearing like um, outfits like this or like anything off the shoulder. If it's showing my collarbone or my shoulders, I will do this with highlight. Let's get a little bit and I'll apply it to my collarbone and to my shoulder and it gives like a really pretty glow thank you so much for watching please make sure to like comment share and subscribe i post videos every week so i'll see you on my next video next week bye